Hi everyone and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. This week I'm participating in a huge grocery haul collaboration hosted by Southern Farm and Kitchen and Southern Wife Everyday Life. Both of their channels will be linked in the description box below along with an epic grocery haul playlist. So I'm going to take you to Aldi on a little shop with me and then I'll show you what I buy. I wanted to start by sharing with you just a couple of items that I didn't buy on this trip, but I have tried recently. So first is the freeze-dried fruit. I tried the Fuji apples and the mangoes. If you've ever had astronaut ice cream, this has a very similar texture, but they pack a huge flavor punch. So a little bit goes a long way. Next, I tried the milk chocolate sea salt caramel almonds and the dark chocolate coconut almonds. These are a great sweet treat to have in my fridge just to snack on. I thought the coconut almonds might be similar to the ones I've had from Costco before. They're not quite as decadent, but they do both taste really good. Comment below and let me know if you've seen parsley in your local store. This is new for us and I am so appreciative of this ingredient. They've always had fresh cilantro, but the parsley I could use in so many recipes, so I'm happy that I don't have to go to another store now to buy it. Lastly, I wanted to highlight these refrigerated salad dressings. I've tried the apple thyme vinaigrette, it's delicious. And I noticed today they also had avocado ranch, which is very popular these days, and a ginger dressing, which I'm planning to buy on my next trip. I'm hoping it tastes like the kind of dressing you get at a hibachi restaurant. So I'm sure you know by now how much I love Aldi and their great prices. This entire grocery cart filled to the brim was $150. Okay, we're home and here, Still going is my Aldi haul and my Dunkin'. So first of all, I'll show you, I got my usual order at Dunkin' Donuts. It is an iced decaf coffee with caramel and cream. And then I got the pumpkin cold foam on top just because I wanted to try it out. It's yummy, nothing super special, but um, I love this drink, very refreshing. And I also got pumpkin munchkins because I love those. So I got one for each person in my family and those are already gone. But anyway, this is our fuel for this grocery haul. So unfortunately, my kitchen is not air conditioned. So I just threw everything off the counter as fast as I could, no rhyme or reason. Um, so I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly so I can get some stuff into the refrigerator. But we'll start over here. I got strawberries, they were on sale this week. Brussels sprouts, I like to roast those or cook them in the air fryer. That's really yummy, just with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Dried cranberries, I'm gonna make a salad this week and add those to it. I love Quaker oatmeal squares, particularly the brown sugar flavor, and this has been a special item they've been carrying for the past few weeks at our store, so I've been picking up a box every week. Then I got some canned goods for my pantry just to stock up. So I have black beans, kidney beans, and diced tomatoes. And I know I got chickpeas too, they might be farther down the line. I got some marshmallows because I wanna make a bunch of different after-school snacks for my kids. This is their first week of school, so I wanted to kind of make it a little special. I know I want to make Rice Krispie treats and some other things too that I'll share as we get to those ingredients. I have green onions. Um, I put these in tabbouleh salad, which I have a recipe for. I'll link that below. My husband loves to eat this in his lunch every day. It's bulgur wheat. You could also use rice or quinoa and um, a bunch of fresh veggies and a nice lemon juice dressing. It's so, so good. Baby carrots, everybody loves those. This is like the one vegetable I can get every single person in my family to eat. So we always have a bag of these on hand. This I showed you in the store, um, they now carry parsley. So this will also go into that tabbouleh salad. This is kind of the base actually, along with the grain, you use the entire bunch of parsley and it gives it great flavor. Then again, more things for my pantry. I have Worcestershire sauce and olive oil. And then this salad dressing, I think I showed these in the store as well. This is um, refrigerated, so it doesn't last too long. I, I reached to the back so I could find the one with the best expiration date, so we have a good month on this dressing, but it's apple thyme vinaigrette, and there's fresh grated apples and garlic and shallots in here. It just has a really yummy flavor, and I'm gonna make kind of a fall salad using this as my dressing. Then I got two containers of heavy whipping cream because I'm going to try my hand at the Magnolia Bakery's banana pudding recipe this week. So we need lots of whipping cream for that. Cream cheese just to have on hand if I ever need it for a recipe. Also, my mother-in-law bought me dozens of bagels through um, Goldbelly. 
So it's like all these New York City bagels she had delivered to my house and we're still going through them. So I like having cream cheese for those too. And then I bought crescent rolls, um, again, for an after school snack for my kids. I like doing pizza fillings like mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and then dipping them in pizza sauce. Or we might go a sweet direction. My kids just love Nutella. So that's always good too if you fill them with Nutella and then bake those off. And then we have chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream and chocolate ice cream. This particularly, I've been craving milkshakes lately, so I got this for milkshakes. But I also bought some, I'll show you these now, waffle cones. This is a specialty item. They don't always carry these, but I promised my kids, they saw them in the ad last week, I promised I would buy those for them, kind of as an end of summer treat. So the ice cream will go in those. Next up, green grapes. I got some ham to make ham barbecue sandwiches this week, which is another video I did way early on in my channel, and they are so good. They take about 10 minutes, and they're so delicious. It's kind of a Pittsburgh staple here. So I got ham for those. Some pork chops, which I just saw a recipe on Instagram where you cook them in um, like a baking dish, and they're covered in cream of mushroom soup and French onion soup mix and submerged in water, and then you cover them in foil. I, I'm gonna share it if I make it and it goes well, so stay tuned for that. But it sounded really yummy. And then I have ground beef. I'm going to make a ground beef stroganoff this week. I don't think I've ever made that, but I've really been wanting to, kind of craving that. So I thought that'd be a good kind of back to school, transitioning into fall meal, and I will film that as well. Bacon, we usually have a pack of bacon each weekend, because <laughs> we love it and some chicken. Um, I'm definitely making mulligatawny soup this week, which again, I will link for you below. That was another one of my really early videos, but it's just a creamy chicken soup with some vegetables. You put apples in it, and then there's some curry powder and lots of toppings too. So that's a yummy recipe. Gala apples for my kids' lunches. Oat milk, because I've been making homemade chai tea lattes, and I like using the oat milk because it's super creamy and kind of thick some eggs, bananas to eat as a snack and also for that banana pudding recipe. I showed you the waffle cones. We've got spring mix for my fall salad that I'm gonna make, white button mushrooms for the beef stroganoff, some unsalted butter. I also got salted butter. I like having both on hand. I really love this just kind of on breakfast foods and things and sometimes I even use it in my baking. Um, but sometimes I like to have the unsalted too, just so you can control the saltiness of whatever you're making. Goat cheese, also for my fall salad. This is frozen edamame, which I don't think they always carry because it was in the freezer cases in the middle where items are always rotating in and out of those. And it was also beside a lot of other Asian items that are kind of on special right now. But I know my kids really enjoy these, so I thought I would serve this alongside the ham barbecues with some um, roasted sweet potatoes too. Continuing on back here, I got some bell peppers. That's actually another vegetable that uh, most of my kids enjoy snacking on raw, so I'll chop those up for the week. Apple Jacks, Rice Krispies for the Rice Krispie treats. Um, my son, Andrew, loves these, so I always have these on hand. And I like to eat these too as a snack with white cheddar cheese. That's a good combo. We got the Aldi brand of Cheez-It crackers, Graham crackers, another thing my son, Andrew, absolutely loves, goes through very quickly and the vanilla wafers for the banana pudding. Let's see here, oh, peanuts. These, uh, we actually like to snack on these. My son Ben loves these, but this is one of the toppings you put on that mulligatawny soup. So you can use peanuts, raisins, um, coconut flakes, fresh tomatoes, crushed pineapple, all kinds of different things that you sprinkle over the soup. So uh, it's nice to have that little bit of crunch and we needed a fresh jar of those. There's my garbanzo beans. And this is my favorite yogurt that Aldi sells. It's whole milk, plain yogurt. And I like to put granola on top of that for breakfast. I also got some green apples. Uh, my son Ben loves green apples specifically. And I wanted to make apple nachos as an after school snack one day this week. So I bought these mini chocolate chips for that. And then I already have a butterscotch sauce in the fridge. It's in a like one of those squeeze bottles, so you can kind of slice up the apples, drizzle the butterscotch over top, and then sprinkle with some chocolate chips. I thought that would be a very tasty snack. Then this is another just pantry restock, some more pasta, um, sweetened condensed milk, that goes into the banana pudding, yum. Beef broth for the beef stroganoff. Showed you the sweet potatoes, I'll just dice those up. 
cover them in olive oil, salt and pepper, maybe like um, some garlic powder and paprika, or you can go a sweet route and do a little bit of cinnamon and then roast those in the oven. You can also bake them too. That's very simple as well because then you don't have to chop them up. And we like those with brown sugar and cinnamon and mini marshmallows and lots of salted butter. <laughs> and then um, these are Danimal smoothie yogurts. My kids love eating those. And my daughter, Emma, asked for some specifically mozzarella string cheese. So we're stocked up on that. And then sandwich bread, buns for the ham barbecues, milk. We've been going through a lot of milk lately. Um, my kids love drinking chocolate milk for breakfast. Plus they all like cereal and, um, I've been using it in recipes too. So it's going a little bit faster than usual. So I got like one and a half milks, some pretzels, uh, anything else over here? Sharp cheddar cheese. That's always nice to have on hand. Andrew, we discovered loves what he calls tacos, which are actually quesadillas. So I wanted to restock on that because that's actually something kind of normal and somewhat healthy that we were getting him to eat at lunches, thankfully. And then lastly, I got a big bag of these uh, Clancy's brand. So that's all these brand snack food. Um, they're chip bags for my kids' lunches. One other thing I got on my trip were these fresh garden vegetables. There was a lady in the parking lot who approached me and said, I have buckets of extra vegetables for my garden. Would you like some? So I took a bag. I got a cucumber, a whole bunch of fresh green beans, and some grape tomatoes. So we'll be enjoying those too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe and give this video a thumbs up if you like all the hauls. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon.